Hi, I'm Michelle Pfizer for Scholastic. Today, we're talking about scientific discoveries that you and your children can have in your very own backyard. By encouraging your kids to look and listen, you can create teachable moments for any aspiring scientist. A backyard is home to lots of different creatures. Allow your kids to get down and dirty as they look for all the worms, bugs, and birds that live in your yard or a nearby park. Simple household objects can become scientific tools for your kids. Some containers can help them collect and explore. Okay. Let's go. Center kids on a nature scavenger hunt. Give the little ones simple items like rocks and leaves, while the older ones can look for acorns, pine cones, and even worms. I found one! <laughs> wow, you guys got a worm! By documenting their findings, your future scientists are learning how to observe and record. There we go! Wow! He's, <laughs> he's a whole six inches long! That is five inches! Wow! Oh. He's getting smaller and smaller. He's still five oh, wow! I got him, I got him. Okay, great. A magnifying glass can help kids examine all the little details. Leaves, acorns, pine needles, almost anything can be fascinating when you look close enough. Once they've found their objects, help the kids explore them further by making associations with what they've found. So where do you live? In a house. In a house? Okay, that's a good answer. Where do you think birds live? Um, in the nest. Where do you think worms live? In the dirt. Underground. Underground and in the dirt. Look for ways to make science interactive. A simple game allows your kids to strengthen their observation skills, preparing them for future science classes. Now, you put your hands in them and you feel what is inside and then you tell me, let's describe it. A little bumpy and prickly. Oh, wow. <laughs> what about yours, Jared? I don't really know what it's called. What does it feel like? Smooth. Okay. Mine is a pine cone. Let's see. You're right, it is a pine cone, and it is bumpy, and it's a little prickly. <laughs> what about you, Jared? What do you have? I guess it's an acorn. And it is an acorn. Look. It's never too early to encourage curiosity and interest in science. By teaching kids to appreciate plants and animals, you can instill a lifelong passion for nature and the environment. Tell us how you turn outdoor exploration into a teachable moment.